Do you see this beautiful musket? Do you want to know how I made it? Well, if you do, then don't scroll this video because in this video I'll show you how I was making this beautiful prop for my Sheros cosplay. Let's begin! And here are some materials I'm going to use. A glue gun, a glue stick, a lot of them. I use more than 40 of them, so have at least 60. A tape. I also use this sandpaper brick, which was actually helpful. And the main thing is the foam clay. Here I use one kilogram of that, but I will suggest you to use more. I also use the white primer uh, spray paint. And uh, I use this beautiful liquid gold markers. However, in order to use them, I actually removed this tip and I used whatever was inside because it was much easier. Uh, it, because if you're gonna just put the tip on the prop, which you made from the foam clay, you're actually gonna ruin everything because it's not that strong enough uh, to actually dry on it. So I was just using the liquid inside of the marker. And I know it was easier to get the probably the paint, but I still used just the marker, uh, the liquid in the marker and I was using the thin brush in order to um, get what I was inside. A glossy finish called clear glaze and where I got it you can see on my another video. Also I used a lot of cardboard barred uh, sticks from IKEA packages so I was saving them because uh, we were moving and we had a lot of this so I saved them. And also I'm gonna use the foam tubes uh, for the base. And of course, I collect this small plastic uh, tubes. Uh, as far as I know, they are from the plastic bags. And uh, most of them uh, I get from my friends who are working in the retail stores. So I have two sizes, the small one and the big one. But in this video, we're only going to use the big one. And more cardboard box. And of course, we will need some scissors and pen, a pencil. And let's begin. The first thing I did is I approximately measure how many of these tubes I'm going to use. I secure them with a tape and I measure the haze just approximately. I was just looking at the picture and then I took the foam tube to make the lower part of this uh, weapon. I cut it and I placed it inside. Uh, later I secure it with um, um, hot glue and I also was uh, looking at the picture which I found in the internet uh, of this uh, musket and I was literally just copying the design and here is some uh, results. As you can see I'm slowly cutting all this extra stuff uh, over here and then I also use uh, as I said a hot glue to secure it because nothing else work except the hot glue and later I use the sandpaper to make it uh, sandpaper to make it smoother um, and uh, here is the result as you can see it's nice and smooth but uh, it's just the base uh, on which we have to work more more and more so let's continue my next step was to create the body of this musket, but I, had, I literally had no clue how to do it because there were no tutorials. I didn't sell any tutorials how to do this musket, so I end up off. Um, it was my own idea, so I just uh, draw the approximate shape of the of uh, this body and I cut it out of the box I had. Uh, you will need uh, two of this, and this is how it looks like, like something like that. Uh, it's not perfect, I know, but I tried my best. Uh, so after I cut the first one, I just uh, copy and made the second part. And after I cut the second part, uh, this is how it looks. And um, now we'll need to secure these two parts. And this is the most fun part um, of securing the body to this tube because I literally had no clue how are you going to secure it because the tube is uh, way much um, heavier than this uh, two piece of uh, carbo box but I did a magic so after thinking of how will I even secure it I just secure them with a the hot glue hot glue is your saver uh so saver so yeah i use the hot glue and then because i sa saved a lot of things and small pieces from the ikea yeah i'm lucky if you don't have this kind of pieces you will need to create similar um by yourself but i was lucky uh, i had the perfect matching uh ikea carbo box pieces uh from the delivery usually when they send you a new furniture from the ikea they secure the furniture with this kind of like a uh, pieces of uh, carbo box and i had a lot of them and i saved them during the past few months because we were moving and we were ordering a lot of new ikea um, furniture and as you can see 
this is a perfect pieces for my musket and i literally just bend them and i glue them and i uh, fix them between these two parts and this is how i secure this uh two pieces of the body to the tube and it's a long process it took me two days probably um maybe three days but it actually turns out pretty good however as you can see it's a little bit hollow and it has a lot of empty spaces so in order to make it tighter uh, i placed these two pieces of the cardboard box inside and uh, one of them actually didn't went uh, inside completely but it's okay i just glue them and um this is how it looks like like i glue them all together and um here you go as you can see now it's way more secure and gonna hold the two better then i cut two more pieces um to fix this uh part and make it um smooth um transition from the top to the bottom or actually from the bottom to the top whatever it is and i place few more carbo box uh, on the um, sides because i was afraid that it's gonna fall and it, this is how it looks so far it's very very um, ugly <laughs> for now but don't forget that it's just a base and uh, i was keep working i was looking at the picture and then i decided to make the lower part of the decoration this is the first uh, decoration of this um uh, musket and uh, this is how i just glue it i just cut the piece and i glue it and i did the same thing to the second pieces over here because i really wanted to uh, make it a li look alike uh, to the original musket then i was working on the top part of this musket and i decided to make it a little bit elevated because it was way too flat so i find this pieces uh this kind of piece of the carbo box and i literally just uh squash it over here to make the smooth uh, transition uh, uh to the bottom and i just glue it to the base and i did three or even four layers and this is how it looks like now it looks a little bit better but we still have to work a lot on this uh, on this musket so i was keep going uh with the top part as you can see i put a few more layers in in total i believe there is like four of them and i was just trying to make it um like to the original and then i was working at the top part uh, i mean at the bottom part and the accessories uh, so i decided to make the uh, handle and some the trigger and some decoration on the top well actually the decoration on the top i literally messed up but it's okay and this is some pieces uh, i was using for some decoration uh, for the handle as you can see i already cut at the small piece and then to make it more stable i decided to cut a third one and and I then I glue it up all together and this is how it looks uh, after I glue them now it's way more secure and uh, it took me a while to figure out how I was supposed to glue them but it actually works out and then I was working um, on the handle and this is the result um, I did uh, it a little bit more secure so I uh, f finish all the space between them and it actually now a little bit heavy the more layers i add the heavier it is but it's not too heavy so you still can carry it and now we are coming to our most fun part because um i decided to make it even more heavier and add a little bit more um layers because when i put the foam clay on top of it i noticed that it's not gonna completely cover the um texture of this uh, musket also you need a lot of hot glue like literally a lot i use more than 40 um small pieces of the hot glue and as you can see i use in the hot glue to cover all these empty spaces all these small cracks on this musket because it's not going to be covered by the foam clay um and um then i use more um carbo box to fill all this um not smooth parts of the musket and uh, when i finish it uh this is how it looks like 
because it has less empty spaces uh, and more glue between all the small cracks it's way more much easier now to put the foam clay uh, on it uh, because the foam clay gonna copy the texture of your base so i try to make it as smooth as possible and then was the most fun part is uh, to put the foam clay all over it so the first layer i was just putting the foam clay all over it because um it still need to dry and it need actually more than on um, 12 hours probably to actually um dry it's the air dry material so it's pretty cool um here's what was on the next day as you can see it literally copied the texture of the base so i was supposed to add one more layer and then i also put all the decorations um i was supposed to add uh, just like on the original um, design but the next day i noticed that um the main part of the star just squashed because i stored it incorrectly so i was supposed to create a new one and i was thinking to put uh the new one on top of the old one but i ended up removing the old one and putting a new one on the empty space because it actually looks better just to put a new one on the empty space and i secured it uh, I just like squash it a little bit with my um, specific instrument uh, for the clay and then I make a little star inside and it looks all pretty now and now I can kill my clay. Just kidding, here's the result, it's all dry now, well almost, it's still a little bit wet but I was in a rush because I really needed this um, musket for my photo shoot which was literally like the next day I was filming this uh, this part and as you can see it's all dry so uh, now I was supposed to uh, spray the white paint just to make it a little bit uh, secure even so it was already white but I really wanted to make the uh, color a little bit like mate. Uh, so I put the white spray of the white paint and then I was decorated with the uh, golden um, markers as you can see I break the marker and I was literally like using whatever was inside like the ink inside not the marker itself um, and I used the red marker to decorate the rest and also the gray marker uh, and the white uh, white uh, white paint to decorate this uh, gray part and this is the result I didn't put the protection like the uh, glaze uh, on top of it and as you can see it's because it was a little bit undry it's a little bit was broken but it was just for my first um photo shoot here's me in my show rose cosplay this is my first try of the show rose cosplay and i used this for my show rose photo shoot in manhattan uh, and all the beautiful picture you can see on my instagram but after my first photo shoot with this musket it was very very broken so i was supposed to fix it because i was really needed for the enemy nyc and the enemy nyc was literally in a few days after that photo shot so i was supposed to hurry a little bit so i add the um, foam clay to the broken pieces i let it dry and then i painted it again and after that i put the finished coat uh, glaze uh, all over it and now it's glossy and i actually can carry it in my hands and not be worried that the paint gonna be all over my hands but when i uh, when it all finished of drying i noticed that some of the parts like over here is all cool all beautiful but over here it was a little bit messy so the red marker went a little bit out of the where it's supposed to be so i was supposed to fix it with some um paint and because my paint is also like a primer so it was all cool and after that i was all done so this is the result and i hope you like my video and like my musket uh, because i tried my best and this is actually one of my um first i would say props i ever made and it was a big project for me so if you like it uh, write a comment put a like and follow me for more and thank you everyone for watching and bye